middle of the afternoon. There's no one else here, probably because the fishing is terrible. My wife gave me three hours to fish, so you know I'm going fishing. Oh, there's a guy over there. There's a guy behind me fishing, so there you go. I'm fly fishing and I'm looking for coho salmon here in early August at Ambleside. What I'm fishing today is my eight weight. Um, I've got seven feet of T8 sink tip, which does not sink too fast. It's kind of a perfect for this water and what I'm trying to do. And then I've got about a foot and a half of eight pound mono down to a uh, this little pink fly here. All right, let's start casting, guys. So I've been uh, I've been seeing people fishing here in the mornings a few times already, early August. I haven't got any formal reports of people catching fish, but with the amount of people I've seen in the morning, I'm guessing there's been some fish activity, some flying Vs. If you guys don't know what I mean when I say flying V, oh, hold on, I gotta fix my fly real quick. When the fish group up here before the uh, the river lets out, a dam release and the water gets high and the fish can run up. Uh, a bunch of salmon stack up here and uh, they swim around in these little pods that I call flying V's because it's basically a swimming V. It's pretty cool. I'll show you guys what that looks like from last uh, last August. Nice cast. All right, the swarm is coming right toward me. There's a big V coming right toward me. I don't know if you guys can see that in the water. You can see the ripples in the water right there super easily because they're back set against the light. Yeah, I see them. They're right in front of me, actually. They're a rod length in front of me. Don't worry about talking to me. Catch a fish. I want to put it on camera. Right, right in front of me. But the first time I ever went fishing here was the last year, 2021 very early August, it was like August 5th or something, and there was already a bunch of flying Vs. The fish were, uh, had shown up, I think, a little bit early last year. One thing I need to do this year when I'm fishing, oh, that was a big wave. When I'm fishing in the ocean is uh, not go too deep, because the fish can uh, sometimes just cruise around on the sandbars. So I don't need to go out and be four feet deep in order to start casting. Right now at high tide, I could basically just cast from these rocks, but it's a little more fun to be out here in the waves. I was watching the uh, Pacific Angler fishing forecast or whatever it's called. Uh, I think the Friday weekend fishing report. And uh, they were talking about when the tides are gonna get good here. And I think they said something like middle of August or maybe third week of August. We're gonna get some really nice tides that sync up with uh, morning and dusk. So I'm gonna infer from that that uh, Dawn and dusk are the best times to, uh, to fish, even in the ocean here, for the salmon. That probably explains why there's no one else out here. <laughs> I see something uh, dark in the water over at the edge of the sandbar. Oh, I see two things. Oh, it's a uh, fishing line attached to it. Let's get this out of the water. Maybe we'll go digging for some ocean treasure. Oh, I think, uh, I think my fly must be attached to me somewhere. Anyway, I can see a nice spoon there. Damn, in all of that recovery mission, I lost my own fly. That's really, that really sucks. That really sucks. I wonder if I can go find it. Ah, uh, that sucks. I don't think I'm getting that one back. That's okay. It actually broke at my tippet ring, not at my fly, so it must have been a weak knot to the tippet ring probably for the best if I hooked a huge fish and then broke it there. I'd be way more devastated now. I've just lost the fly that I've caught a bunch of fish on. Not so bad. I think I'm gonna walk up and talk to the other fishers, see if they've had any luck and see if they're targeted. Seal, 12 o'clock. So I just uh, chatted with that other guy that I showed at the beginning of the video, off camera. You know, we were chatting, he's throwing conventional gear. He hasn't seen any, seen any fish, any evidence of fish or had any bites, which, you know, in a way is, 
takes a load off my back, so it doesn't mean that I'm the only one. But at the same time, um, you always want to hear that there's fish around. Now, I did see that seal, and he, we were chatting about that, and he said, there were guys catching here over the last week, uh, quite a few catches, and this seal has been extremely, extremely aggressive. Hold on, I see a seal. I see a seal, and it's got a chrome salmon in his mouth. No joke. He's got a salmon in his mouth. He's coming toward me. He, oh, he just dove. That is incredible. So there's fish. There's fish and he's got one. He's just, sorry, he's just, you guys can't see him. He's just right in front of me, swimming away up the sandbar. Well, okay. Um, just to continue the story, a seal interrupted me. Um, a lot of people have been catching this week based on anecdotal uh, communication from that guy. But they said the seal has been really on point and aggressive, stealing everyone's fish, including running up onto the bank to steal people's fish. I wonder how aggressive seals are. Like, would seals come up and try to attack me if I had the fish in a net and I was trying to walk up onto shore? Is a, is a seal gonna do me, me an attack? Or like, they'd probably grab at my net and stuff to get the fish, but I don't know. Oh, huge cruise ship. I've never been on a cruise. Have you guys been on a cruise? Looks fun. Oh my goodness. Look how tall that thing is. Also, look how bad the traffic is on the bridge that I have to take home. God, it's brutal. That thing just about hits the bridge. That's insane. Come on, cruise ship and a coho hookup would just be incredible. If you guys have been on a cruise, I wanna know where. Let me know in the comments. If you've been on multiple, tell me your favorite. Bahamas, Alaska, Hawaii, Disney cruise. I wanna know, give me those details. Oh, also, if you're not in the Discord, come jump in the Discord. We have fun and we talk fishing and it's fun. Just go join. Don't overthink it. My goal this fall is to catch some fish. I'd love to catch one in the salt and one in the fresh at a minimum. That's my goal. So hopefully we can do it. See you guys in the next one. Uh, I definitely want to hit this again um, in the next two, three weeks. Hopefully there's more people, more fish, and I fish it at a better time of day. <laughs> All right, till next time guys, see ya. Good news, um, I found that fly that I lost. It was stuck to my boot and I found it when I was taking off my waders. <laughs> so zero flies lost in the day and one fish seen in a seal's mouth. I call that a win, guys. <laughs> All right, see you on the next one. Bye.